Hey folks, how you doing? This up uh, is about a movie called uh, Fear Street Part 2. It takes uh, 1978. Of course, it takes place in 1978. Big surprise. Uh, it has a 88% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, you can watch it on Netflix right now. It is a, uh, it's like a three-part series um, on Amazon, obvious. Um, this guy from RL Sprint, he did books, but it, but, you know, Goosebumps, he, he wrote this book, uh, but it's not, you know, <laughs> it's not really good for kids, in my opinion. There's not, you know, sex and no duty. Well, there's just some butt cheeks, this one. Not one, but two butt cheeks. Um, partial, yeah, almost duty. Just warning you. I guess it's not for kids. Um, yeah, we can watch on Netflix. Yay. So, at least he's placed in 1978 at uh, the camp. And he showed the rivalry against uh, Shitty Side and Sunnyvale, the two towns. They don't get along because the shade side are the witch and the, I guess, Sunnyvale are the devils. Um, so it takes, uh, the campus name is Night um, Wing or something in Ohio. Later on, a little spoiler alert, um, later on um, it kind of makes into a mall. And um, also in this movie, it, it talks more into uh, the witch, her stories. Uh, the first one is saying, how can you defeat her? And this one is more like her background stories and stuff. And they try to find different ways to feed her, but it's more background stories. Um, last one, um, the little brother did most of the work. Uh, I'm going to airline talking about people, about these you know, weird things happening in uh, uh, Shadeside. And this time, you know, they go more the areas where she lived. Um, I guess the, the mom of one of the killers that she says, um, 1964, I think, um, was find clue because she knew her mom, her daughter was not a killer. Something must have triggered something. So that's pretty much. And then um, what happens? I might get more details. I might tell you a little too much so far, but um, <laughs> but a good series. Um, I like the, you know good music. It's kind of I like what I, what I like about it. They play um, Nirvana's uh, their, their their cover of um, the Man Saw the World, and then later on David Bowie's version of it. Near the end, that was really cool. We're good. I like the collections of setting songs. They do. They also they do. The criticism of hers, but they did a great job doing you know the nineties. Of course, that's more of my time. Ninety four was a great time for music. Of course, any time from like um, I say nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety five was the best time for music for me. Can't get enough of it. Spend more, more of my money. So um, that's what I think. It was a good series. Uh, I think it's a lot better than um, the first one. It's curious, uh, part three is going to be up next week. It's going to take place in 1666. Somehow, um, the young lady on the first one um, goes back in time, and I think she becomes a witch, or she sees the what she wishes to her eyes, my opinion. But um, but this movie is more like, uh, what's her name, Ziggy uh, Berman's story about her, her sister. Uh, their point of view, Ziggy and, um, and Cindy's uh, point of view. What happens, and we kind of, and you watch the first one, it kind of tells you what happens to the one of the sisters. Also, there's the young uh, Nick uh, Good, who Larry became the sheriff in the first one. They kind of go back stories. They call him Nikki, and then a couple times the cops were talking to him, man, you'll be our future boss. You marry me, man. You know, I was nice to you. So I go, and also he tries to cover it up, saying, you know, um, I think he was more protecting her, saying, you know, you know, this really happened, but he said, no, the other guy went crazy and went on stabbing. Same thing, they made some story up that um, that the, the, the two tweakers, the two drug dealers in the first one were involved in the killing with their best friends. I guess in the second one, um, the sheriff was his turn to just make up something. It was just, he was acting alone. Of course, you know, no one won't believe you if some boy's going crazy. Everybody thinks the shitty side. You were out to go no good. So that's pretty much what I think of it. I um, enjoy it. Please uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think of this movie. Thank you for watching. Bye.